I'm very interested in the notion that healthcare professionals ought to try to maintain some passion in their life other than healthcare. Uh, my belief is that people get too insular and they need the other outlets as a way of handling stress. How have you found living your dual, dual career and would you recommend it to other physicians? I would. <laughs> I do all the time. Um, uh, I, I work a lot with uh, the development of young physicians through the Robert Wood Johnson Clinical Scholars Program and many of them have, um, have other outside interests and accomplishments and I routinely uh, you know, encourage them to continue those accomplishments and to continue, you know, keeping alive, you know, the full self. I think it allows one to be happier in the work that we're doing, which is, as, which you know, as you know, is often stressful. Um, so it's important to have that balance, um, to have your own personal resiliency. I also believe that, you, you know, not for everyone, but certainly for me, everything's connected. You know, there's a connection between the work that we do as a physician and the art that we may do. And we can be to some extent, especially if we're exploring those different dimensions of the self, you know, like in my case, able to bring more creativity into my research because I'm keeping my creative self alive. And similarly, I don't think the work that I would that I do as an artist would be the same without my clinical perspective. I think doing this opera completely changed my ability to do other kinds of creative work. I mean, a, for example, my brother um, unfortunately passed away this year of ALS. And um, what I did as one way of coping with that um, is I went back to the songs I'd written for him when I was in medical school um, based on the Psalms and um, revised them and made them more into choral compositions, larger pieces, which my singing group will perform this December. And uh, I couldn't have done that, um, certainly not, you know, uh, as easily had I not developed myself so much through doing that opera. And that allowed me to, you know, cope more effectively, I think, in some respects with his death. It pays off in many ways. It pays off in many ways. That you can't predict. That you can't predict. And, you know, and of course, because he died of a complex medical illness, I also had to be there as a doctor supporting him and his family and bringing in my colleagues and all the things that doctors do, you know, when your family members are ill. And I remember... Uh, at his last healthcare visit, um, you know, sharing with his wife some of these songs that I thought I would, be, you know, be working on. So it literally is all can be all connected if we allow ourselves to do that. I think it can be very helpful.